Hey guys, it's Hannah, and I'm going to show you what I pack in my volleyball bag. A little background before I start. Um, I am the team captain of my volleyball team. I play for Vision, and that's a travel team in South Carolina where I live. And uh, we're having a tournament coming up soon, and I always have to pack ahead because um, my mom is the team mom, and my sister is one of the coaches. So we have a bunch of stuff that we have to get through. So it's just one less thing to worry about if I go ahead and do it now. And I decided I'd film it because I love watching what other people bring. And, you know, I thought if maybe you're starting out and, you know, want to know some of the things that, you know, that you could bring. Or, you know, if you're not new to volleyball and you just like watching what other people, seeing what other people bring, because I know I do. So, um, I'm just going to use my a6 uh, volleyball duffel bag. Nothing special. It's just black and white. It has one outside pocket for my shoes and just a big inside compartment. I have a lot of random stuff that I feel like necessary to bring to the tournament, but normal people probably don't. So I just threw it all in a big pile so I could shove it in this bag real quick. <laughs> so um, the first thing I will bring is my hoodie. It just says Vision Volleyball Academy and then on um, one of the sleeves it just said 12 which is my number. Um, I can't put that on a bag yet because it's so wet because I don't dry it but I, that will be in my bag. Our socks and they're just the black and white Nike Elite. I love these socks. They are a tad expensive. They're like $14, $15 at Dick's or Academy. I think they're cheaper at Academy, but I love them. They're padded, they feel so great, and they really help my ankle. Next is just um, black spandex. We have to get certain brands, so there's no um, there's no like label or um, like you know like Nike has a switch. There's no switch like on our thigh, not on our thigh. Like you never mind. You know what I mean? And then our first jersey, which I do not like. I do not like wearing it. I do not like playing in it. I feel like I play worse in this. But it's our pink and white jersey. Our colors are pink and black. And it just looks like this. Both of our jerseys are long sleeves. I love long sleeve jersey jerseys. And then the back just says Vision, and it has my number on it again. I'm just kind of balling them up and shoving it in here. And then this is my favorite jersey. It's black and white. It has our number again, long sleeves, and on the back, same thing, just different color scheme. I feel like that it fits better. They fit differently, which is weird because they're from the same brand and they're the same size. But it ties them with our spandex and our knee pads and our socks more than just having, you know, black and white and then just this big blob of pink. But that's my opinion. And then just a t-shirt that says Vision. Nothing special about that. My knee pads, which are Mizuno knee pads. They're my favorite. I do not like any other kind. This one kind looks like you have turtle shells on your knees, and that is not cute. So I love Mizuno knee pads. They work just like any other knee pad would. Um, I have this ribbon and artsy. I, since I'm new captain, I make all the girls presents. And last time it was bows, and they voted for bows again. So um, I got more ribbon to make us more bows to wear. Um, this card that one of my teammates gave me, and it was so sweet. Um, so, I, oh yeah, I was bringing it to show my dad because it was so sweet. I have this compact Hello Kitty mirror. Let me just drop it. Sorry about that. And that goes along with my makeup, which kind of just spilled everywhere. 
There's an email in here. I got that. And this is just a blue and zebra print case. Very small. I have like one sixteenth of my makeup in here. It's just to touch up throughout the day, you know, after sweating and resting, you know, you just touch up your makeup. I have Covertox 10 Physicians Formula in medium translucent. And it's a good, um, just a good mattifying powder, I guess you could say. It sets my foundation and, you know, it keeps, keeps me matte, fills in the spaces where my foundation has separated throughout the day. I have this e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer. I don't remember what I don't remember what shade it's in. It doesn't it doesn't say. Sorry about that. I have three brushes in here, I believe. The Essence of Beauty powder brush, which is literally so soft. I love this brush so much. Then the e.l.f tapered blush brush and the elf angled contouring brush they look like that for the blush and bronzer an extra hair tie some bobby pins i have my favorite els which is in strawberry sorbet skin rimmel 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 skin alive mascara love this as well and then just black waterproof eyeliner so that all goes in the bag. Uh, three different headbands. Um, I wear these on the court. Just I just have two different kinds depending on what uniform we're wearing, or in case a teammate forgets theirs. They're just Under Armour um, headbands, and then a plastic headband. <coughs> Excuse me, but we're not allowed to wear these on the court that we can take out all jewelry and everything. I just have this for in case to go out to dinner and my hair is bugging me or I just need a plastic headband. I have my captain's book and it's so cute. One of my teammates gave it to me. And I forget where she got it from. She got it from Michaels. I don't know, but it I just write down all of the stuff that we need to work on. You know, during a tournament, if, you know, people need to do suicides, if there are mistakes, people need to correct, I'll write it down. You know, if there are confrontations, if there's some type of issue, everything gets in here, and I review it at next practice. And that's a really great way to, you know, make sure everything gets addressed and taken care of. I have a Cliff Bar, and it's in Crunchy Peanut Butter. Not my favorite. I love the chocolate chip Cliff Bar, but um, we didn't have any more. And a pen that another one of my teammates got for me that I throw in here to write in that book. My iPhone 4, and I tried to do the whole cracked colored thing, I guess, but it, it didn't do it on the back. It just did it on the front. And then my uh, pink Beats that my boyfriend got me for Valentine's Day. And a study guide that I need to drill into my brain because I am failing that class. An extra sports bra. Um, I don't really know why I have this. Yeah. I just don't really know why I have that. And a body spray. This is Victoria's Secret Hot for Pink Wild Berry and Honeysuckle Body Mist. And before a game, before I rest, you know, you're sitting beside someone for a whole volleyball game, resting, and, you know, you don't want to smell like you just played volleyball. Or if we go to dinner after the tournament or something. And then I have this um, blue hair tie. I don't allow my teammates to wear anything but regular black hair ties unless, you know, they have blonde hair and they can wear blonde hair ties, of course. But, um, I have this. It's just it's kind of like a good luck thing. And I have feminine products in here. And this is just a little Mary Kay 
um, what is it, like a Mary Kay cosmetic bag that one of my friends gave me for Christmas, and then I have blotting sheets from e.l.f., which are just really, you know, inexpensive dollar blotting sheets that work perfectly fine, and that's all I have to go in that pocket, and then I have my volleyball shoes, and they are the ASIC Gel Indoor Volleyball Shoes in white and silver. And love these. They were took a little while to break in, just like any other volleyball shoe, or especially ASICs. But I got these at Academy for around $45. They weren't that bad. I've had them for a long time. They still look pretty new because I never wear them outside of the court. Speaking of wearing shoes outside of the court, so the second I step off the court, I took off my volleyball shoes and put on these slides. You can get them in any brand. I just like the Nike ones. And um, I recommend getting them a size bigger than what you really are because I'm a size 7. And these, like, squeeze my feet. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, with our coach, especially my sister... If you wear your volleyball shoes outside and they see you, you will have to buy a new pair. And you just don't want to ruin your volleyball shoes because they're for indoor courts only. So these were only about $15 for a pair of slides, which save your, you know, $40, 50 $60 volleyball shoes. I, these are definitely a good thing to have. And that's pretty much all I shove in my bag. I'll put a Gatorade in there in the morning before, uh, after I put it in the freezer. But that's pretty much everything that I bring. So if you guys have any more requests to see, if you want to see what's in my cheer bag or what's in my school volleyball bag, please let me know, and I'd be glad to do that. I take any requests, any kind of video you want to see, or just any questions you have in general. Thanks for watching. Bye.